Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Kairos Time, and it is time to brawl. It's also time for us to talk about Bo's gadgets and his star powers. We're going to break down Bo's newest gadget coming in a few days, and we're also going to break down his original gadget and both of his star powers. Then I'm going to rank them and talk about what his best build is. We're also going to cover his best pins and skins as well. If you like this type of video, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing this for every other brawler getting their second gadget as well. And use code Kairos in the Brawl Star shop if you want extra luck while you're opening up your boxes in Brawl Stars. K A I. -A -I. R-O-S, code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. I'm required to tell you that using any creator code actually won't increase your luck, but it might, but it won't, except that it probably might, except that it won't, but I hope that it doesn't use code Kairos anyway. Bo's newest gadget is Tripwire, which can be used three times per match. When Bo uses this, his minds instantly trigger. Obviously, though, there is a little bit of time before you can actually use this ability when he first throws it out. When Bo first lays his mines, they're solid and easy to see when they're being placed down. But once they are officially laid, they become invisible to the enemy team and transparent for your team. Bo has to wait until they are transparent in order for him to activate this ability. But one thing that's cool is that if Bo activates this as quickly as possible, enemies actually won't be able to escape the blast from a perfectly aimed super. This will allow Bo to guarantee a hit on enemies when he auto aims them if the bro is actually close to him and he instantly activates the gadget. If Bo auto aims a super far away from him, the enemy might actually be able to escape due to the travel time of his super. This can be used to catch an enemy off guard by activating this ability when they're trying to disarm the mine and I think that that is going to be one of the biggest benefits to this ability. As soon as Bo sees the mines being tripped, he just activates that and they'll be within range to be able to get stunned or hit by it. Skilled players know how to disarm bow mines very easily and this is going to mean that they will have to just avoid tripping the mines altogether unless they know that Bo has activated the ability three times already or that he cannot activate the ability. And this gadget does not have a minimum range. So the only time that Bo cannot activate this is when he's dead and has not respawned yet. Something else that's actually kind of cool about this is that the mines have a minimum activation range that is actually shorter than their explosion range. So Bo can actually hit enemies even when they think they are safe from the mines because they're outside of the activation range. This also allows Bo to use his super against the Ike or heist safes without enemies having to walk over the mines. And he can also choose to blow up certain walls or grass to give his team an advantage when using this ability. Now one thing you may not know about Bo Super is that the bottom two mines actually get set a split second before the third mine on the top. If you spam the gadget button as soon as Bo throws his super, he can actually blow up the bottom two mines without exploding the third one. I recommend using this to your advantage when you're trying to blow up walls or bush that can be taken out by the two mines at the bottom alone, so that you'll actually still have a mine on the ground that could still hurt an enemy. Also, if you activate the ability, it's very likely that the enemy team will not realize that only two of the three mines exploded, so there's a very good chance that you might actually catch them off guard. Is this newest gadget better than and his first gadget, let's actually talk about his first gadget and both of his star powers, and then I will rank them all and talk about which ones are better. And of course, what Bo's best build is. Bo's first gadget is Super Totem and can be used three times per match. When Bo activates this, he drops a totem that can actually recharge his and enemy's supers if they're close enough to it. And you do have to stand very close to it within two tiles. Now, the totem will charge up a super by itself in 20 seconds, which is actually 10 seconds faster than a Daryl's automatic charging super. I see a lot of people who will drop this near the back of the map and then wait the full 20 seconds before going to where the fight is. And most of the time, that is not the best thing to do because you're going to lose important area control if you do that. The best thing that you can do is place the totem in a spot where it will not easily be attacked by enemies, but will still charge your super if you're in the right place. Now, if there's only one wall between you and the totem, it can charge supers on the other side of the wall. So this is typically a good placement, though it is susceptible to thrower attacks. With that said, though, throwers counter this ability very easily since the totem only has 1,000 health and will typically die to one hit anyway. Bo's first star power is Circling Eagle. With this star power equipped, Bo's sight within bushes increases from a two tile radius to a five tile radius. This allows Bo to stay outside of range from threats that typically hide in the bush while also allowing him to pinpoint their location, making them easy targets. On top of Bo having the additional sight, his teammates can see what he can see, which makes this incredibly helpful on maps with lots of bush like Snake Prairie. In fact, Bo is very meta on Snake Prairie because of this star power alone. Obviously, on maps where there's not a lot of bush, this star power provides very little value. Bo's second star power is Snare Bear. With this equipped, instead of enemies getting knocked back by his super, they now get stunned for two seconds if they get hit by his super. Although this does decrease the chance of an enemy getting knocked back into the other two mines, two seconds is plenty of time for Bo and his teammates to finish off an enemy brawler. And although brawlers very rarely get hit by all three mines, technically this could lead to six total seconds of being stunned. But even two seconds alone feels 
feels like an eternity when you are stunned. The downside of this star power is that it's pretty easy for a skilled player to disarm Bo's traps, so this actually provides little value in competitive matches. Now let's compare Bo's gadgets and star power so I can recommend the best build for Bo. Then we're going to rank his pins and skins from worst to best. The choice between Bo's gadgets depends on a lot of factors. If you're playing a map or mode where it would be ideal for you to get rid of certain walls or bushes, you should absolutely go with his tripwire gadget so that you can do this without having to wait for enemy brawlers to actually trip the mines themselves. But if the map or mode that you're playing has a nice place for you to put your super totem that is difficult for enemy brawlers to reach and you're unlikely to face against throwers, you're definitely going to want to go with the super totem gadget because of how much value it can provide for your entire team. If you're planning on playing Bo on a map where throwers are very prevalent, you'll want to use Tripwire since throwers counter his super totem gadget so well, and Tripwire will actually help Bo remove walls that would otherwise benefit the enemy throwers. Honestly, I think that both of these gadgets are A tier gadgets. I would put super totem in the S tier category if it weren't so easy to get rid of, and although the usefulness of Tripwire is somewhat limited to pretty niche situations, the fact that you can use it in combination with other abilities does make it useful, especially when enemies are trying to clear your minds. If I had to pick only one gadget to play until the next balance changes, I would probably go with Bo's Super Totem Gadget. Though I'm going to add a little bit of a disclaimer to that later in this video. When it comes to Bo's star powers, I feel like the choice is pretty clear. You got to ask yourself, is there a lot of bush on this map? If the answer is yes, you should absolutely go with Circling Eagle. The additional sight is a massive advantage that benefits your entire team. Now, if the answer is no, you should absolutely go with Snare Bear. It's less likely that you'll get value out of the star power by itself against skilled enemy brawlers who can disarm the mines, but it's going to provide more value than Circling Eagle on a map without bushes. And if enemies do happen to get stunned, it will make it very easy to take them out. Now, a lot of people will ask, what if there's not a whole bunch of bush and you're not sure which one to go with? In that case, there's a good chance that you're not going to want to play bow anyway, but if you do want to play bow, in most cases, it's better to go with the snare bear star power in that situation, unless you're likely to face enemies who use the bush to sneak up on you. If the bushes are being used a lot, though, you should absolutely go with the circling eagle star power. I think that both of these are A tier star powers that are both close to kind of being B tier star powers because they're either map dependent or because of how players can easily play around them. But if I only had to pick one to play with, Excluding gadgets, if we're just talking about the star power, I would go with Circling Eagle because of how much it makes it easier to push Bo on the right map. Once again, though, a little disclaimer that you're going to want to wait to the end of the video for my full opinion. There are a lot of factors to consider when it comes to Bo's best build. His Super Totem Gadget with Circling Eagle star power is typically the best build if you're going to be playing on a map with lots of bushes. Circling Eagle is going to provide the site, and typically there's a good place for you to put a totem on the map if there's a lot of bushes on, though, though that is not always the case. If there's not a safe place to put the super totem down, like for example, Stone Fort, you should go with the Circling Eagle star power and his Tripwire gadget instead. Now there might be some situations where his Snare Bear star power would be good with his super totem gadget. Like on a map where there's a really good place for you to put that super totem, but there's not a whole lot of bushes worth for actually using his Circling Eagle star power. Or if like you're going for a specific strategy with your team comp, like you have a surge on your team and it's really important for you to charge up that super. But most of the time, if you are playing his Snare Bear star power, you should absolutely use Bo's Tripwire gadget. The reason is that these two abilities combine together for a really great strategy. His Tripwire gadget allows him to overcome the biggest weakness of his Snare Bear star power, and that is that it is useless against enemies that can easily clear the mines. When Bo has that gadget and the enemies try to clear the mines, all he has to do is activate that gadget and they will instantly take damage and be frozen for two seconds, which is going to let you and your teammates take them out really easily. That is why these two abilities combined are the best overall build for Bo. Alone, neither of these are like really amazing, but when you combine them together, the enemy team is going to want to completely avoid the mines where you place them, and that can give you an insane advantage, especially on modes like Gem Grab or Siege, where you really want to try and control a specific location. Now, I know it's a little bit backwards because I chose Bo's Super Totem Gadget and his Circle Eagle star power if I could only pick one of them, but that's if they're like separate. In combination, Bo's a much better well-rounded brawler in this type of situation, at least on maps where there's not a whole lot of bush. And no brawler build is complete without talking about their best skins and their best pins. I do like Bo's base model. I do think that there are some brawlers that have skins that are worse than their base model, but in this case, all of Bo's skins are better than his base model. I think that his worst skin has got to be his Mecha Bo skin, and that's not really saying a whole lot because 
all of his skins, in my opinion, are actually really, really awesome. The only reason why I chose this as Bo's worst skin is because it costs 300 gems for something that is very similar to his other skins that can be acquired for free and relatively easily as well, at least for the light mecha bow. I actually prefer mecha bow over light mecha bow because you actually see it a lot less frequently. So if I have to choose, that's the one I'm gonna be playing, but it's too expensive in comparison to his other skins. So yeah, you get the idea. Next is light mecha bow, which has a super cool color scheme. It comes with everything that mecha bow has, but it's light and only costs 10,000 star points. Now for Bo's last two skins, it is a really tough call, but I actually decided to go with Horus bow as his second best skin. I love this skin so much. It is definitely worth more than 150 gems if you ask me. I'm not gonna tell Supercell that though. Plus, it's super cool that this is actually the first fan-made skin to be put into the game. It has some awesome custom animations for his super, his attack, and his winning and losing screen, and that makes this one of the best valued skins in the game. However, I've definitely gotta go with Bo's golden mecha bow skin for his best skin overall. Obviously, this is just a golden version of Bo's other mecha skins, but that's not what makes this skin so special. First off, it requires a lot of long-term dedication in the game in order to save the star points for this skin, which means that if you play this skin, your teammates and enemies are going to recognize you as a skilled player. You might not be a skilled player, but they will think that you're a skilled player, at least when the match first starts out. And the second reason why I selected this as Bo's best skin is because it is the rarest skin in the game. More people tend to actually buy Golden Mecha Crow once they save up enough star points to buy it, and it has been confirmed that this is the rare skin in the game, which makes it very special in its own unique way. As for both pins, you've only got four to choose from. Obviously, his base one is going to be the least exciting. Next, I'm going to go with his sweat emoji, since I don't actually know when I would want to actively use this, except for like it was a close call, but that doesn't happen too often. Next is the thumbs up, which is a great way to show your smugness on the battlefield. And my favorite pin is the heart pin. I have said it before and I will probably say it again. I feel like the heart pins are the best way to show your love on the battlefield without looking too toxic. So this is the ultimate build for Bo. Golden Mecha Bow Skin, Heart Emote Pin, Tripwire Gadget, and Snare Bear Star Power. Let me know in the comment section if you disagree at all. Subscribe for more best brawler builds like this one. Use code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. And for now guys, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.